Hello and welcome to this week's Sports Talk edition of City News. March Madness is here, and the Cedar Valley is living up to the madness. The Cedar Falls boys and girls basketball teams both made it to the semifinal games at state. The UNI men's basketball team recently made some buzz after winning the Missouri Valley Conference Championship for the second straight year. This week on Sports Talk, we break down all the exciting action and highlight the big plays. The Cedar Falls girls basketball team started the madness when senior guard Emma Gertis hit a game-winning shot with less than five seconds on the clock in the Tigers' quarterfinal game versus Waukee. This huge shot was only their second lead of the game, but was enough to send Cedar Falls to the semifinal game, where they fell short to this year's champion, Ankeny Centennial. The girls had a terrific season and should be proud of their accomplishments. The Cedar Falls boys team continued the madness in their quarterfinal game versus Council Bluffs' Abraham Lincoln. In a game that was back and forth the whole time, with only 10 seconds left in the game, Council Bluffs' Abraham Lincoln hit a deep three to tie it up at 58 points each. The Tigers responded as Trevon Fagan took the ball all the way to the rim where he got fouled with only two seconds left on the clock. Fagan made both free throws, which sent Cedar Falls to the semifinals where they lost a heartbreaker to Iowa City West. The Tigers finished fourth in the state after they were defeated in the consolation game to Pleasant Valley. The Tigers showed the state that they mean business and will most likely be back to state in the following years. In St. Louis, the UNI men's basketball team kicked off the madness in the Missouri Valley Conference championship game. In a game where they led 32 to 18 at half, the Panthers found themselves in a tied ball game with only 25 seconds left on the clock. This was until senior guard Wes Washman pulled up and hit the huge game-winning shot as the clock ran down to zero. This is UNI's second straight MVC championship and their second straight year going to the big dance. On Selection Sunday, the UNI Panthers received the 11th seed in the tournament and will face the 6th seed Texas Longhorns on Friday night at 8.50 in Oklahoma City. Make sure to tune in Friday night on TBS to catch the matchup. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Sports Talk on City News. Make sure to tune in to our full Sports Talk show to see full game recaps of the Cedar Falls boys and girls at State Basketball. As always, more stuff coming soon. Now we'll take you back to the news desk.